so last week we uh, we got a video like how to study physics and maths in many students so in this video as many students are requested how to maximize your marks in biology because in the neat 50 percentage will be from biology and in the biology 80 to 95 percentage of the questions will be from ncrt but the task is how to study the ncrt will be the important technique to maximize your marks so here are the five proven techniques or tips by which you too can study the ncrt fully and you can attend maximum questions like you can score up to 330 right so before going into the video welcome to my channel inspiring brains this is hari completed physiotherapy currently doing third year bbs and a part time biology faculty and if you are new to this channel just spare few seconds in subscribing my channel and these videos will surely impact your life and thank you for your subscription so the first technique is study like a 10th standard student what is 10th standard student means when we completed the 10th and we entered into 11th everything is new for us see physics chemistry everything will be new new and we have uh, denoted our 20 200 percentage concentration in studying each and every line we doesn't know whether it is important or not we have to study everything right that's our uh, 11th standard initial concept apply this concept here don't think that this is important or this is not important this is less important don't think anything like this just study like a 11th standard school entered boy everything every line has a question so that's the first important technique so for example so this is organisms and populations so this is just an introduction so our living world okay okay here at various levels of biological organization say macromolecules cells tissues organ individual organism population communities ecosystems and biomes and this itself can be a question so that is arrangement from lower level to the higher level or from micro level to a macro level so this itself will be a question so even this introduction is going to carry more marks second think as a question paper setter suppose you are given a job of a, in an nta official uh, to set a question for this neat neat 2022 what you have to do is the only rule they say is you have to frame a question in this book which is ncrt but the student should not attend so what you will do you will study each and every line and you will think in a different way to frame a question the same concept is applied during your study also right when you studied each and every line or a paragraph say you have to frame a question and that question should be unique in such a way that the entire paragraph should be in that question when you complete it like this the entire book come on you will be a topper because all the questions will be out before the entrance itself you know all the questions because or not other way the question paper setter will be in your mindset of taking those questions right so if you predicted well then come on the question paper for neat 2022 will be in your hands just by now itself for example so hemophilia this is sex linked recessive disease so of course it is sex linked or x linked recessive disease whereas sickle cell anemia is an autosomal uh, recessive trait so that can be i can frame a question like this like what are all the disease that comes under sex linked recessive disorders or autosomal linked disorders and again another question you can link here is in sex linked always there can be unaffected carrier female so the female maximum they will be carrier and minimum they will be affected so when then they can be affected so that's also can be a question here right so when i was a setter i'll ask a question when the female will be affected in a x linked recessive disorder of course when they will be affected if they have a affected father and carrier female there can be a chance of the daughter to get affected so only if they have affected father and a carrier mother there can be a chance of the individual to get affected so in this way i can frame a question so for every paragraph we can frame a question like this and through this you can cover the entire book in a very good manner the third important technique is cross relation 
So many students will complain that even though after studying NCERT completely, I couldn't get marks. It's because they lack in correlation. Everything in NCERT should be correlated in study. For example, if I take uh, neural control and coordination, I will be studying about sodium potassium pump, right? So I'll always tell my students, sodium and water are lovers, right? And potassium is boy bestie, and actually sodium is boyfriend. So always the boyfriend doesn't like boy bestie, right? So whenever sodium travels in as three, potassium will go out as two. So three sodium and two potassium. So always they travel in opposite direction, which means there will be a diagram in which the arrows will be opposite and says and it says as antiport. That is actually in the plant physiology. And whenever you heard of the term pump. It is always an active transport. So now you have to correlate with the active, passive transport, everything. So this is how you have to correlate each and every part of NCERT to other chapters so that you can increase your chances of attending the questions correctly. And the fourth important technique is summary. Everybody will study the entire uh, book or entire chapters fully, but they fail to study the summary because they have a thought that they have covered everything in the chapter and why should we study about the summary because it's very short phrase. But the answer is there are some lines and there are some questions which are directly taken from the summary which is not even in the chapter, which is not even in the chapter. So hence you have to put some time in studying all the summary. So the summary should be always attached to the chapter itself. So whenever you start to study a chapter, complete with the summary. That makes the entire chapters complete and you can score maximum marks. For example, this is the summary of uh, cell cycle, which is 11th chapter. The highlighted portion says that most of the organal duplication occurs during this phase, which is G1. So when a question comes like in which phase the organal duplication occurs, the answer will be G1 phase, which is not actually given inside the chapter. It's actually present in the summary. So hence, reading summary is also very important. So the last technique is revise and attend previous year question. So uh, once you've done all these things, it will be very easy. Just like physics, you can complete the revision in a very short span. And the next thing what you have to do is attend previous year questions rather than physics or chemistry here the art of attending the questions will help you to decrease your mistakes say the question says select the incorrect statement but what our mind will say is it select the correct statement and it will bubble the correct one and it will go out right and select the one odd one so the questions will be framed in such a way that it will be confusing so in biology Attending previous year questions will help you to decrease the mistakes like this and this will surely increase 10 percentage of your marks. So that's it. So these are all the five proven techniques by which you can increase your biology marks and even you can score up to 330 out of 360, 330 plus out of 360 in a very short span of time and provided you have to follow these techniques correctly. If you want to anything uh, to be detailedly discussed in my next video, just put it in the comment box below. I'll do it in the next video. Bye.